Puerto Rico, an island in the Caribbean with a rich history, beautiful beaches, tropical rainforests, and the destination of my most recent travel adventure. Traveling from North Carolina to Rincon was super cheap and relatively easy with the round trip flight costs coming in around $120. The catch to the cheap flight was a six hour layover in the Orlando airport on the way there and on the way back. After landing in Aguadilla, it was only a 45 minute drive into Rincon with a taxi costing anywhere from $60 to $80. We settled into our Airbnb, which costs around $150 a person within five minutes walking distance from the town center of Rincon proper. On the second day in Rincon, my friends and I traveled to Gazalandia Waterfall in San Sebastian province to go cliff jumping, but little did we know how terrifying it would actually be. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Waterfall time. After about a 45 minute drive from Rincon, we arrived at Gazalandia. Our driver took us in through the back entrance where we could explore two different waterfalls, one of them being privately owned. The entrance fee was only $5 a person, which included a golf cart trolley up to the trailhead. I thought it automatically I shot the the Wait. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's got to know. He closed it immediately. I have a are you serious? There's nothing back there. I, I, I just shut it. I thought it was electric. He's not None picking us up. It opened electrically. We, we are now stuck here forever. <laughs> He's not picking us up. Absolutely no idea where we're going. I have to pee really bad. I mean, I feel like we'll just figure it out as we go. Either way. As we approach the main falls, we all began to realize how dangerous this jump could be. Rocks jutted out at the base of the falls surrounding the pool, and if you didn't jump out far enough, there was a good chance you would not survive the jump. At the time, we did not know that multiple people had died or injured themselves while jumping from the falls. So if you ever travel to Gazalandia, Please be cautious when or if you decide to jump. As we stared up at the falls, debating if we should jump, we were approached by a local by the name of Noel, who promised that he would show us the correct way to cliff jump. So, after meeting Noel just two minutes before, Jake, Lucas, and I decided to take a leap of faith. What's the review on the cliff jumping? So there's this thing called It makes me feel like that. It's good. I can't post that on YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay. You can bleep it. I hate it. It's terrifying. It's not fun until like you're done with it. So, um, but it looks cool. <laughs> Like you gotta put yourself to the front. Yeah, I just scream because I feel like it helps me like jump out further. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
After an exciting adrenaline-filled day, my friends and I decided to take the next few days to relax and explore the town of Rincon. Our favorite spot on the beach was only a 10 minute walk from the Airbnb and included a beachfront bar and restaurant. From here, we were able to enjoy some gorgeous views as well as some of the best sunsets I've ever seen. calamari here. We have cookout sauce with the corn fingers. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, here we have the fried calamari. Mm -hmm. Honestly, some sprouts. I've had a few. I've had a few bites already. Pretty solid. It's a little thick. A little bit thicker than I would imagine for calamari, but mm -hmm. honestly, really good. I'm just also very starving. So. <laughs> starving. But these corn fingers are weird. I like the corn fingers. Does it remind you of like cultivating corn back in the country? Cultivating corn? What does that mean? Like growing it? I don't grow corn. <laughs> it's really hard to grow corn. Um, see, that's something someone from the country would know. <laughs> exactly. After taking a few days to explore the town of Rincon, my friends and I had to hop on a flight and head back home to North Carolina. During our layover in the Orlando airport, I was able to get everyone's thoughts and reflections on the amazing trip we had all just experienced. I liked going to the waterfall and like hiking up to the spots and stuff. We were jumping off and there was tons of people watching us. It was a lot of pressure and it was scary. It was nice. Good exercise. What was the other part? Food? Oh yeah, how do you think about the food? The food was exquisite. It did cause me to go to the bathroom a few times though. Like, not in a good way. Um, Were you backed up? No, nothing got backed up. Nice. It could have been the medallia as well. Every, 
That's true. Overall, it was good. <laughs> I like seafood. Next time, I'll bring a girl. That was the biggest mistake I made. Not bring a girl? Yeah. Yeah. I did enjoy having my own bed, though. So. Alright, wait. Okay, it's recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honestly, I think one of my favorite parts was the last dinner. We were just all like eating and the food was like amazing. Yeah. Some of the best food I've ever had. I think my favorite part was always going to the Brazilian place. I feel like we had really good conversations up there. That was always an underrated, and it was the best. It was the best restaurant I feel like there, and I wish we ate there. I, I would also come really back. enjoyed the beach yeah. location. The beach was great like too. The beach spot was perfect. It yeah. was everything we needed. Yeah. I would 100 percent go back. Yeah. And I liked our balcony. I the did balcony like the balcony. Good. And I think laughing ma made everything better. We definitely laughed. A lot. I laughed a lot this trip. Yeah. Like more than I feel like I have more. Yeah. So that was good. Amazing. Amazing. Stage. Okay, ask me a question. What was your favorite part? I enjoyed the cats. There were so many cats. I'll show you a picture of them this morning. Do I have to like, maybe? And I like the waterfall. The waterfall was fun. I enjoyed um, watching them risk their lives a few times. I really enjoyed watching Zach take a picture of Jake's ass as Jake took a picture of a puppy. Right. Yes, you guys. So my friend slid up and was like, this is the most like chaotic picture I've ever seen. Yeah. There's so much going on. Down, oh, and it was my birthday, so I had a great birthday. <laughs> Everything was delish. Very yummy. Very fun. Um, everyone got along. So that was a plus. People get crazy on trips sometimes. So, um, 10 out of 10. I didn't get along with Jake. What was your least favorite part of this trip? My least favorite part has to be sitting in the Orlando airport for <laughs> two six hour layovers. I mean, we've been making like the most out of our time here. So I feel like it hasn't been too bad. Other than that, like, it was honest. I don't really have anything negative to say about the trip. Like, I love Puerto Rico. <laughs> I don't really have anything negative to say. I mean, it was an awesome experience. I feel like the trip really started for me when we went to the waterfall. We all jumped off it because it just happened so fast. And that guy, Noel, just like pulled us up and like kind of forced us to jump. After that, I think it just started, got better and better each day. Um, it was very relaxing. Like, it was good to just kind of get away from everything and get your mind off the world for a little bit and just kind of go to an island paradise for a few days. Definitely spent a little more money than I intended to just because I wasn't really thinking about prices when I was ordering dinner. I just kind of got what I wanted, but that's fine. Other than that, I just got to work to compensate for that when I get back. One more thing is I think that this side of Puerto Rico, the West Coast that we went to in Rincon was definitely more local. And I haven't really experienced that side of Puerto Rico before where in like San Juan it's more touristy and it's like a bigger city. And there's just like a lot of stuff going on where Rincon was more like laid back and we were the only tourists in like most restaurants most nights we were there. And it was kind of refreshing to like get like that authentic Puerto Rican culture, try some new food, experience some new some new things. So that was really awesome. And I, I definitely go back to that same part of Puerto Rico again. You know, maybe not with Jake though, because he didn't cuddle with me as much as I wanted to. Puerto Rico trip was a success. Gotta come back here. Vlog. So what, when's the video dropping? Said, when's the video dropping? <laughs> what are your, um, your Mama, favorite part? Mama. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.